Wait, what are y'all views on Martin Luther King? I, sometimes I, I think I over oversee him as like a a Jesus type character. Uh, that's a little blasphemous, but um, hey, I, I, I didn't say that I was. I'm just telling you my view shift on. It. You can say it's blasphemy, but I'm just telling you my view, my view. Of it. I mean, I think he's a he's a obviously he's a very important figure in the black community, and uh, without what he did, um, who knows what we would be in our society as black people. Um, I don't look at him like a Jesus figure, but when I think of black history, he's probably the first person I think of. You know, he was a reverend, so he was, I guess I can see why you would correlate him with Jesus, because maybe the whole reverend thing, but I don't think he was a Jesus-like person. He did, he did preach, like, you know, peace, and, you know, he wanted equality with a peaceful way, unlike some other people who were more forceful about it, but I think I think it's a good thing to be celebrated and you know remember what he and his people went through at that time for us as a whole. The reason why I say Jesus like figure is because exactly what you said, Reverend, but also like the non peaceful approach when there's definitely a, like most people would have put their hands on anybody that was beating them like that. And then get locked up and then continually go back out there and continue march to get locked up again. That's the way I look at it. He was very turn the other cheek. I don't know how. I don't know how. Speaking of, uh the history, I don't I don't know if it's the history channel. I don't I don't want to say National Geographic actually did it. Uh there's a yeah. Malcolm and Martin uh documentary. I don't know if it's out yet, but it's about to come out. And it is. Uh, I, I I just put it on the flex like a week ago. He knows, or got yeah. it got it queued up for the plex, I should say. Yeah, it sounds good. It sounds like a good uh a good uh historical accuracy. It's gonna be four episodes, I think they said. Probably an hour and an episode, right? Something like that. It's gonna be dope. So, sometimes I feel like people that just have Martin Luther King Day off just kinda like just be happy that they got the day off opposed to actually understanding and celebrating the man that like change society in America. I think I think everybody should listen to his um well you can listen to any speech you want, but I think everybody should listen to his I have a dream speech at least yeah. once. If, if it if, even if this is a one once a year that you listen to it, I think this is a great time of year just to go back and listen to it a good time just to take it in of of, of any race. I think it's just a good thing. Especially yeah. especially Americans. I think this is a great day to listen to it at least one time. And be like, okay, cool. Then you can just go on with your day. Go do what you got to do. Um, enjoy your day off. But you should at least give him, um, out of all of the speech, like 20 minutes of your time. Um, I think it's good for you. It's just a good to hear, reiterated. No, I will say this, though. Bullshit, like how the boondocks did. Nah, nah, <laughs> yeah, nah. Say like Key and Pill did. That was funny how Key and Pill, uh, dude was like, I got to follow up Dr. King's speech. And it was my speech that I had a dream. He pretty much had it like, I have a dream too. He was like, well, uh, well, uh, I don't know what to say anymore because the good brother Martin. <laughs> <laughs> the good brother Martin. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what was you going to say though, Rob? Uh, I honestly don't remember, but yeah, basically just go listen to the speech at least one time and, uh, it, it's, it's, it's just healthy. I think it's just healthy for you. Um, I do remember what I was going to say though. Um, yeah. Speaking of the boondocks, uh, yeah, bro. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine. Imagine, imagine LK came back all he saw was sexy red all over, all over the timeline. I'll, I'll be very disappointed. I'll be, I'll be, I'm, I'll be embarrassed. Don't be Andre with you, Darren. This is what we fought for. I don't. Why would you be embarrassed if he showed up? I would be I'm embarrassed in general, right? Bro, if he if he showed no, up, you showed on Twitter. You try to explain Twitter to this man, and all he see is sexy red. She's like, damn. So she popped off, then she got pregnant immediately. What has black society come to? You gonna see it sexy red and Jack Harlow? Like, who's this it's Jack Harlow? Unified. It's just crazy how unified black people was back then. Even if you wasn't on Martin's non-peaceful approach, you was probably on Malcolm's uh, by any means necessary. You don't you don't think uh, black people are unified anymore? 
Nah, nah, not that much. You think we're just all just Americans yeah. living in it, or all do crabs. you think like Darren said everybody are all crabs? Yeah, I think there's uh, crabs. I don't know about crabs in a barrel, but <laughs> I'll definitely say um, America has done a good job of making everybody kind of like a not everybody. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Because in the past couple of years, we've seen violence against Asian people. We've seen, obviously, like George Floyd and situations like that. Hey, we good here? Good. I'm getting back to work.